And if you gotta get cute to go to the grocery store, <laughs> at least you're going somewhere, right? fashion flies welcome back to my channel that's so Allegra. i'm Allegra for those who don't know if you're new to the channel welcome i hope you stay and subscribe so today you guys were just thirsty for another diy like the difference in the polls like the thirst was real for another diy so i went through my stash i have a little secret DIY box. I wanted to make something that I haven't made which is a lounge wear type of short and we're unfortunately we're in the house and we only really go out when we're like going to the grocery store. That's the reality of it and if you gotta get cute to go to the grocery store <laughs> at least you're going somewhere right? I have this dress which is you know flowy and all. The bottom area is too short for me because I'm 80% legs you know we're gonna just keep this tutorial simple let's get it let's get it let's get it let's get it all right so the first thing we're going to do is say thank you next to the top of this dress because you don't need it anymore you don't want him anymore it's your ex-boyfriend wow look how much better you look without him girl all right, so now we're gonna find new parts of ourselves by using these pants that fit us so great and make our butt look even better. And we're gonna use it to cut out the pattern. This side was not in the right direction for that cut, so I had to flip it over, which means I will have to hem this side, but that's okay, you know, whatever it takes to get it together, okay? Once we have our new pieces to ourselves, we're going to go ahead and join those pieces together and just get harmonious and become one with these pants. AKA, you're going to do a straight stitch down the crotch area. So I'm also going to make sure I fold over to him those pants because we like symmetry, we like equality, Black Lives Matter. So now we're going to insert our shorts into each other. They're going to, you know, mate. <laughs> so we're going to put them right sides together. And I know that my front piece has this tag on it just because I remembered. So make sure you have something or you mark to know your front from your back because otherwise you'll put them on wrong and it'll just look like you did everything wrong. <laughs> Lining up the seams. I'm going to pin. I want to give you guys a close up because you're probably like, what is she doing? So once the seams are aligned, I want to go ahead and pin around the entire crotch front of the shorts. And we're going to sew it around and just bring it around town. I also went back and seam ripped the top hem of the shorts so that I can finish off the side seams. Using some elastic, I'm going to measure around my waist a comfortable fit that also is able to fit over my butt and thighs because you don't want it to get stuck. And once I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and fold over twice to create my casing for this elastic, making sure it's wide enough to fit it and making sure I leave an opening to put it in. Now 
So using a paper clip because I have no idea where my safety pins have teleported to, I'm just going to stick this elastic through, easing it through and pulling the fabric to give that scrunched look. And then once it's all through, I'm going to go ahead and connect this elastic with a zigzag stitch. Once the elastic is in, we're going to shut that door, close that, burn that bridge, and just do a straight stitch down. So they're shorts now, but they're long. I don't want them this long, so I thought about hemming them. But instead, I want to add like that ruched effect with like some strings on the side and make it more of like a pool vibe type of short, you know, but still you can lounge in them if you want to. And then with the remaining fabric, I'm just going to probably make a matching top. So it's like a whole set. So stay tuned. To create the ruched effect, I'm going to cut out two strips from the excess fabric left over. And I'm going to pin it down halfway down the sides of the shorts. And I'm going to do three straight stitches, one in the middle and two on each side, creating two little canals. I'm also gonna fold two 10 inch long strips right sides together, and these will be the boats, the worms, whatever you wanna call it, that will go through the canals on the sides of the pants and I'm going to use a bobbing pin actually to do this because like I said my safety pins are in my A and once I pull it through and get that ruched effect we're going to be all done. Alright guys, so this is how the shorts came out. I think they're so cute. I just paired it with this little tube top I made out of some rib knit. And I just think this look is just so chill. Like a nice lounge vibe, a nice by the pool side vibe. Like going to get something to eat real quick. Like <laughs> you can wear this look anywhere. And I think it was a smart move to make these shorts. And I think the ruching really gave me the length that I liked and it also kind of you know gave your butt some shape you know so I really like this and this is my first time making these shorts and I think I did a great job so I hope you guys are able to transform something into this look and thank you guys for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe bye